Welcome to Health House, where we're about to dive into a discussion that's all about movement, vitality, and the sheer joy of being human. But first, let's give a massive shout out to our amazing supporters who keep the channel going strong. Today, we're stepping into the world of walking and running, activities that aren't just exercises, they're ingrained in our very nature. Picture this. Humans walking through serene landscapes, running through fields, and moving with purpose. These actions define our history, our evolution, and our existence. While debates rage on about the best exercises, there's a simple truth we can't overlook. Walking and running are the bedrock of functional movement. These are the actions our bodies are primed for, the motions that resonate with the rhythm of our lives. Now, let's break away from the notion that running is solely about burning calories or chasing personal records. While it's true that running can make your heart race and fat melt away, its benefits extend far beyond superficial goals. It's a pet peeve of mine when people argue that running only matters if you're aiming to break records or push your limits. That's missing the point entirely. Even if you lace up your running shoes just once a week, the transformative effects can be astounding. Sure, running does wonders for your cardiovascular system and helps you shed unwanted weight. But let's not fall into the trap of comparing it to high-intensity interval training, HIT, solely for calorie burn. These two have their distinct advantages, and we'll delve into that. HIT might be the king of rapid calorie incineration and the coveted afterburn effect, where your body keeps burning calories post-workout. But let's not underestimate the magic of long-distance running, the low-intensity steady state, LIS, cardio. It's like giving your heart a workout that makes it stronger, more efficient, and more adaptable. Imagine a heart that's more like a high-performance engine, pumping blood with grace and power. Speaking of power, this heart transformation leads to a lower resting heart rate, a sign of outstanding overall health. Imagine the exhilaration of blood and oxygen coursing through your veins, fueling every cell in your body with every heartbeat. It's not just about chasing records, it's about chasing vitality and strength. Now, let's debunk a myth, the afterburn effect. Yes, it's true that your body keeps burning calories for a while after an intense workout, but let's put things in perspective. A solid, gentle 50-minute jog can torch as many as 800 calories or even more. That's a significant impact on your weekly calorie tally, and it's a pace you can sustain. But let's not forget the real essence of running, it's about reclaiming your biomechanics, restoring your movement, and reconnecting with your body's natural rhythm. In a world where sitting has become the norm, our bodies suffer, tight hip flexors, weakened cores, and compromised mechanics. Running is our antidote. It forces us to move correctly, to stand tall, to engage our hips, and to strengthen our cores. It's like a reset button for our bodies. Here's a truth bomb. If you're trapped in a chair for most of your day, a few sets of squats won't undo the sitting damage. Sure, the sitting stimulus outweighs your exercise efforts, but running changes the game. It's a high volume, full body experience that targets neglected muscles, particularly the hip flexors. These muscles hold the key to preserving your mobility and preventing age-related stiffness. But running isn't just a physical exercise, it's a mental and emotional journey. The world is a blur as you pick up the pace, your surroundings merging into a tapestry of colors. With each step, you're not just burning calories, you're igniting neural pathways, sparking creativity, and opening your mind to new possibilities. Running is like a symphony of endorphins that flood your system, leaving you with a euphoric high that can only be described as magical. But let's dive even deeper. Running isn't just a means to an end, it's a journey into mindfulness. Optic flow, the graceful dance of scenery as you move, becomes a form of meditation. Your brain calculates distances, speed, and movement, allowing you to immerse yourself in the present moment. It's like meditation in motion, a serene escape from the chaos of life. And here's a nugget of wisdom, both Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, two legends in their own right, understood the power of running. They embraced the rhythm of their feet hitting the ground, knowing that it wasn't just about breaking records but about connecting with their bodies and souls. So, let's shift the narrative. Running isn't just about being the fastest or going the farthest, it's about embodying movement, vitality, and joy. It's about the wind in your hair, the rhythm of your breath, and the symphony of your heartbeat. Whether you're sprinting or strolling, your body revels in the simple act of moving forward. So, slip on your running shoes, step outside, and let your spirit soar. Because when you run, you're not just chasing miles, you're chasing life. The symphony of movement. As we delve into the art of movement, it's crucial to understand the inherent beauty of the human body in motion. Walking and running are not mere physical exercises, they are the embodiment of grace and power, a symphony of muscles working in harmony. 
The rhythmic cadence of footsteps, the dance of muscles, and the synchronicity of breath come together to create a unique expression of vitality. Chapter 2. Beyond Calorie Burn, Unveiling the Multifaceted Benefits. While the calorie burning aspect of walking and running is well known, it's merely the tip of the iceberg. In this chapter, we embark on a journey through the multifaceted benefits of these activities. We unravel the intricate interplay between cardiovascular health, weight management, and mental well-being. But more importantly, we discover that the essence of walking and running transcends superficial goals. It's about cultivating a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Chapter 3. Unmasking the Power of Long Distance Running. Long distance running, often underestimated in a world obsessed with speed, is a transformative force that deserves special attention. In this chapter, we dissect the physiological wonders that unfold when we choose to engage in steady, sustained movement. From expanding the heart's capacity to boosting circulation and even reversing arterial aging, long distance running becomes a beacon of vitality that defies age and limitations. Chapter 4. Movement as Medicine, Unlocking Mental and Emotional Wellness. The mind-body connection takes center stage as we delve into the profound impact of walking and running on mental and emotional wellness. Beyond the physical exertion, these activities release a cascade of neurochemicals that elevate mood, reduce stress, and enhance cognitive function. We also explore the concept of optic flow, and how it serves as a gateway to meditation in motion, offering respite from the noise of modern life. Chapter 5. Rediscovering Our Biomechanical Blueprint. In an era dominated by sedentary lifestyles and digital screens, our bodies suffer from postural imbalances and weakened core muscles. But running emerges as a powerful antidote. This chapter delves into the biomechanical magic of running, the way it resets our movement patterns, strengthens our core, and encourages us to stand tall. We explore how running becomes a journey of reconnection with our primal blueprint, instilling us with strength and stability. Chapter 6. The Mindful Path, Barefoot Running and Beyond. Barefoot running, a practice often met with curiosity and skepticism, takes the stage in this chapter. We explore the philosophy behind barefoot running, its impact on foot mechanics, and the intricate dance between our feet and the ground beneath. Through the lens of barefoot running, we unravel the profound connection between body and earth, shedding light on a journey that transcends fitness to become a spiritual exploration. Chapter 7. Legends in Motion, Running Through History. The stories of legendary individuals who embrace the art of running paint a vivid tapestry in this chapter. From ancient cultures to modern icons, we uncover the profound impact of running on lives that have left indelible marks on history. Bruce Lee's philosophical approach to running and Jackie Chan's commitment to the art form offer insights into how these luminaries harness the power of movement to fuel their creative genius. Chapter 8. The Path Forward, Embracing the Rhythm of Life. As we approach the culmination of our journey, we reflect on the transformative power of walking and running. This chapter serves as a guide for integrating these practices into our lives. We explore the gentle art of integration, emphasizing that even a single run or walk per week can unleash transformative effects. We delve into strategies for overcoming hurdles, cultivating consistency, and embracing the journey with open arms. Conclusion. The Unending Journey. In a world defined by constant motion and noise, walking and running emerge as sanctuaries of stillness and serenity. Our journey through the realm of movement has unveiled the intricate tapestry that connects our bodies, minds, and spirits. From the heart's rhythm to the whisper of footsteps, we've explored the symphony that underscores our existence. As we step back into the frenetic pace of life, let's remember that every stride is a celebration of life's rhythm. The road ahead is paved with endless possibilities, where each step becomes an invitation to embrace vitality, connection, and purpose. The transformative power of walking and running isn't confined to the track or the trail, it echoes in the corridors of our hearts, inspiring us to keep moving forward, one step at a time.